Now, let's do Huygens' Wave Theory. So, Huygens says light is a wave. And in fact, he says light propagates just, just like how sound does in air. So he says light are longitudinal waves. But how do these light waves travel? He says, think about ripples of waves that you get in water when you put a stone. So if you drop a stone in a pond of water, then you get waves like this coming out in this circular manner. And he calls these as wave fronts. So basically what these wave fronts are is that they are a collection of particles which are in phase with each other. So for example, if you consider this wave one, this wave front, all the particles on this wave front may be at their maxima. And maybe there's a wave front over here. And all the particles on this one are at their minima. And so on and so forth. So when you have a point source, like when you drop a stone, you end up with a circular wave front, provided you are in two dimensions. And if you're in three dimensions, you end up with spherical wave fronts. What happens if you go far away? If you go far away, then you can see that this spherical or circular wave fronts start becoming flatter and flatter and flatter and flatter because they become so big. Just like how Earth is, it is so big and so round that it looks flat to us. So, so if the wave fronts become too big, that happens when you go far away from this source, infinitely far away, as what scientists will say. But if you go far away from this particular wave uh, source, then these wave fronts are going to start looking parallel to you. They start looking planes, right? So, if the source is at infinity, source at infinity. And the wave fronts that you end up getting are plane wave fronts. What that means is now that all the particles on this plane, these are a plane, all the particles on this plane are in the same phase. So maybe they are the maxima, they are minima, or whatever. And if you look at the direction of the propagation, you see here the wave is propagating outwards. So it's this way and like so, and this way, and this way. And if you look over here, the direction of propagation, because when you are infinitely far away from the source, the direction becomes parallel. That follows immediately from your geometrical optics. The first property that you can see between the wave fronts and the direction of propagation is that they're always, always perpendicular to each other. You can see that always. All right, so got the basics of wave fronts. Um, point sources, spherical wave fronts, sources at infinity gives you plane wave fronts. Now, what is the Huygens theory says is he explains how these wave fronts are formed. He comes up with a with a sort of an idea. I don't know whether that's a great idea, that's a very real idea or not, but it helps, and that's why we're going to study that. So his idea is the following: suppose at time t, I have some wave front like so. And I want to know a little time delta t later what's going to be the shape of the new wave front. Huygens says that consider every point on this current wave front as a Huygens source for secondary waves, meaning each point on this wave front acts like a source giving out spherical waves. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of work to do. So I cannot draw all the points, there are infinite of them. However, I am going to draw few of them. So I have my protractor ready because these are going to be spherical wave fronts going out in all directions. So I thought I thought I'll do it in a civilized way. What's going to be the length of this particular? Well, if the velocity is v of the wave, then in time delta t, the wave is going to spread out by a distance of v delta t, right? So I have to take the radius of V delta T in my protractor. Oh, not a protractor, this is a compass. So I have to take a uh, radius of V delta T in my compass and then, you know, basically draw out the waves. Be patient. All right, here goes nothing.
Ta-da! So these, what I've drawn, are all secondary wavelets. So spherical waves that are given out by the secondary Huygen sources. And each one has a radius of exactly V delta T. So now, what's going to be the shape of the new wave front? Well, he says, draw a common tangent for them. Now, since I have drawn only a little amount, it may not look all that apparent, but if you just imagine that there are sort of infinite of these over here, then you can sort of see that the common tangent ultimately becomes this shape. This is going to be the new wave front. And so this is the wave front after time delta t. That's the basic idea of wave fronts given by Christian Huygens. There's a big drawback though. You can always ask yourself, why don't these secondary waves go out in the opposite direction? Hmm, right? Well, he says, since you know it's spreading outwards, don't think about the op opposite direction. Maybe they don't do that. We don't know why, but just neglect them. That's what he says. All right, Mr. Huygen, I agree with your theory. We will go ahead with your theory, provided you can explain us the concepts of reflections and refractions.